Now let's finish sculpting the cowl. So on the back, I want to create some kind of detail that mirrors this leaf or wing detail or feather detail on the front. And so we can come back in with our Damien standard brush, go back in and make our lazy radius a little bit higher, go to Z sub. And this time I'm going to turn on symmetry. So I'm working out across the middle. And we can go in and start to block things out. And so we'll come in and just make maybe something along those lines. Let's go back and we'll go to our standard brush. Kind of smooth that back in. And I'm actually going to start that over and come from the bottom just so I can fade it out a little bit better. And then we'll do the same thing here. Go back and create the sort of leaf patterns. Feather pattern there. And I'm going really quick, but you can obviously take your time and make it a little bit cleaner. And then you can go in with your clay and carve away the little bits here. Gonna smooth that back in. Again, the detail, the specific detail that you create is up to you. All right. We can also come in here and I'm going to use kind of recreate some of this kind of a look here by coming from the back. And let's kind of I'll do a Z add. And I'll kind of come like that. And then I'll do another one right underneath it. Kind of like that. And then I'll create the edges for it. Kind of along the sides. And then we just kind of repeat what we've been doing. And again, your detail could look a lot different. That's cool. So I'm just going to keep Kind of adding that kind of carved detail in there real quickly. Let's go back to our clay buildup and I'm just going to carve away the center part of this a little bit. I'm just kind of making circles. And we'll just kind of fill in the gaps here. And once you've got the detail on the one side finished, we will flip it to the other side. Now I want to flip it to this side first. And so let's go under geometry. I'm going to go ahead and delete the subdivisions. Let's go to our sub tool master. And I just want to mirror this into a new sub tool. So I'll append and along the X axis, say, okay to that. Go into sub tool. And now we've got this one selected. Let's go into geometry and modify topology. I want to do a mirror end weld and make sure the X axis is selected. And now we've got our detail over on the other side. All right. So once you've got the detail created for your cowl or your collar, whatever we're calling it, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some sculpting on the belt and the hip pieces. And this sculpting is going to be really, really simple, uh, but you can you know take it as far as you want. And then we'll continue on. We'll use shadow box to make a buckle. And then we'll create the medallion will be the last kind of big piece. We'll have a couple of other pieces to kind of clean up, but we're nearing the end. So let's go ahead in the next clip and start sculpting on the belts and hip pieces.